Hey everybody, Phil here with Elevated Audio in Lakewood, Colorado. Today we're going to be going over a 2020 Mercedes Sprinter van RV conversion that we worked on here uh, this week. Uh, if you want to follow me around, I'll show you some stuff. Uh, but first we're going to talk about the equipment that we have here. Uh, we got a JL VX800i. Uh, that's going to be the amplifier and processor built in to control all the sound. Uh, we also have the DRC205 knob to control different tunes. Uh, rear speakers as well as bass control. Uh, we have a XD601 to control the subwoofer that we installed here in this custom enclosure, as well as Morel Hybrid uh, three ways uh, that we did a little bit of custom work in the eight pillars and mounted these guys in the doors. And then of course we have the Audison 10 inch Prima uh, subwoofer uh, that we installed. Mercedes Sprinter van we had basically these ABS block off plates that were sitting up here uh, to basically do nothing other than cover the hole so we decided to utilize that area that was there to install a new speaker and a new baffle that we took that same shape uh, recreated it cut a hole out of it wrapped it and uh, mounted it with uh, some machine hardware stainless hardware of course so it's not gonna rust um, but it turned out really nice so we got one over here and then one over here as well installed Merle hybrid three-way speakers uh, but before we did that we actually sound treated the door to eliminate any rattles knock down some road noise and just overall insulate the vehicle a little bit better because these Sprinter van you know RVs are pretty noisy on the road um, they didn't really put a whole lot of sound treatment in them to begin with so we went ahead and we did that uh, the biggest way that you can tell uh, that we did sound treatment is if you knock on one of these panels it doesn't have anything back here it sounds really hollow really resonant where we go over here there's a nice little thud hopefully you can hear that in the video and then of course when you close the door it's a lot more heavy and it has a nice little thud to it when it closes to give it that luxury car feel
uh, speakers that we install into the door and the A-pillars here. Uh, they're going to be the Morel hybrid three-way setup uh, that we mounted. And then we also created this custom panel here to uh, kick them out just slightly so they're not pointed at each other. Uh, so that way we can get a little angle on them, put them closer to the on axis. Um, yeah, and then we also got this nice little speaker grill material that also matches the uh, factory pillar as well. So down in here, we actually uh, were able to fit two of those amplifiers that I mentioned earlier, that VXI-808 from JL Audio, as well as that XD-601. Both of these guys are up underneath this uh, seat with this custom bracket that uh, Mr. Matt Davies built for us as well. 
Uh, we use machine hardware again uh, to make sure we can take it in and out as many times as possible without any sort of degradation to the base surface. Uh, and then we also have in this little trap door here is this really important piece. This is a AMS 96K uh, Moscone Bluetooth piece. What this allows us to do is pipe in high-res Bluetooth streaming directly to the amplifier so we get that real, real clean audio signal. What's nice about this whole setup too is that this seat rotates and we didn't change any of that. We we're still able to rotate this seat all the way around so that way they can talk to their passengers, hang out with their passengers when they're parked, uh, and then also just have that passenger functionality like normal. Uh, over here, we have the base knob uh, or DRC controller. Uh, this is for the base control. We use the outer knob for the rear speakers, and then we can press in the knob with different colors here uh, when it's on that will tell us which tune we are on depending on if we want driver's tune, two seat tune, we want rear speakers, no rear speakers, um, Bluetooth, no Bluetooth, that kind of stuff. So we have a lot of control here and that's really nice. Uh, we made sure that it was central to the driver and the passenger so that way either one can access it relatively easily and it's nice and out of the way. So down here we have the subwoofer enclosure that we crafted uh, for this vehicle. Inside of here we have a 10 inch Audison Prima uh, flat thin line sub. It's firing down so that, that way we can make sure and protect the woofer. But the most important part is, is to have access and we can step over it easily as well as also have the space for the commode that's over here that they use. So they place that here, do their business and you know whatever, but uh, RV life, right? So that's it, subwoofer box is mounted, sounds pretty good, and it's really durable.